Hi lovely water signs, I'm Jenny. Welcome to Joy Energy Tarot. This is your intuitive guided reading for the month of April. Whenever you watch it is the right time for you. If you wait till the end of the video you will get your own guiding message for each star sign. And thank you for all your lovely comments. I really appreciate them and I love reading them. Okay, as I say, no time in spirit world, so I'm doing approximately each week for the month. So we're starting off for the first week in um, April. You guys have got somebody there who is a soulmate. This can be a lover, a friend, a work colleague. It's just someone that you learn from. This is like someone that you gel with. You could possibly have known them before in a past life. Otherwise, for people who are in happy relationships, this is where your relationships are going to the next level. But this is really, really auspicious for happy relationships of all sorts. And then you've got the devil card, deceiver card. So just be careful that no one deceives you. You don't deceive yourself. This can also be uh, where you've got an absolutely very, very strong, strong um, sexual connection with this person, okay? This can also mean toxic people around you or feeling tied down and trapped. So just work out what it is that might be making you feel tied down. But that's all about to change, so don't worry about it. Just um, go with the wheel. Go with uh, the Wheel of Fortune to see what's going to happen next. Because in that second week, that other card too, sorry, the, the Deceiver Devil card too, it's a Capricorn card. It can re, it can represent people who feel tied down because of money as well. Like m the money thing is really annoying you. You know, it might be an offer coming in that's too low or you're trapped because of your mortgage or you want to do something but you feel like you haven't got enough money. That's another meaning for some of you as well. Okay, so that's about to change though, and in the second week, um, news comes in, exactly what you want to hear, something you've been waiting for, it's quite a karmic thing, there'll be emails, phone calls, texts, you're going to be really, really busy, and you're going to be rushed off your feet. You're going to have a little bit of confusion though, this can be arguing going on around you, um, or some sort of conflict going on around you, but also fives are about choice, change, freedom, so this can be inner conflict, do I want to do this, do I want to do that, should I take this, should I go there, that sort of thing, but learn from it and move forward, uh, learn from all of that, you know, it's a lesson type card. Um, plotting your next move, where do you want to live, what do you want to do with your life, is this the right thing for me? Because then you've got the, the universe, the world is your oyster, you've done everything right, you are now moving into a new chapter in your life, which is fabulous. I was going to say, I hope the death card is here, and it is. So you guys, you've got endings and new beginnings, so you, your life is going to be changing. You've got the world is your oyster, you can now go and do the things that you want to do. You may have been held back in the past because of um, your own self-limiting beliefs, which can be that deceiver card, um, other people putting pressure on you that can be that deceiver card as well but now you can move forward and make your own choices and your own decisions your life is yours oh my god the third week amazing feeling safe secure having enough money for everything you need this is a card of like really really long-term security and you've got the star card so it's like a dream come true what you've been wishing for is now coming true what you've been don't forget to always talk to your angels and guys because something that you've really really wanted is now happening and then you've got the full card so you've definitely got big changes happening in april you've got the endings and the new beginning so the um the full card is all about uh, stepping into a new life, uh, um, life learning lessons. It's the beginning of the tarot, so you're starting that new journey. So especially if you guys have got Aries in your chart somewhere, like in your moon sign or Mars and Venus, happy birthday to all the Aries, but definitely the beginning of the new zodiac year as well. So there's your death card in the last sort of week where you are transforming, your life is transforming, everything is changing. Wow, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten major arcana cards. So huge changes, very karmic. And you've got to, uh, you've got the hangman. So this is like waiting, waiting, waiting. Like you've been working hard, you've been making sacrifices, you've been waiting for the what it is that you want to come in, and it hasn't been coming in. This is just a reminder to look slightly in a new direction as well. And there is the. Uh, 
the King of Pentacles. I love that it came up at, up at 444 on the video, which is all about having everything planned, having your security. Like the King of Pentacles is ultimate security as well. Feeling really good. You've worked really hard. You're now re, uh, reaping the rewards for everything that you've been doing. It's a fabulous card. In covering the whole uh, month, uh, Prince of Pentacles, this is all about learning something new. Something's coming in slow and steady and you're learning something new that again will last you for quite a long time. And then you've got the Empress. So this is about you guys taking control. You might be dealing with a government department, but this is a person who is a leader in control. You could be uh, working on your own as well. Take the reins, be brave, be courageous, just do it. But you need some time out. You're going to end up like a little bit tired. Um, go, oops, go and have that time out to yourself where you'll get the enlightenment you want. Somewhere in the bush, somewhere in nature, that sort of thing. And then right next to it is the moon card. So this is where everything that's happening has been going like this for you. You might be overwhelmed with all your choices. And um, that this is a card of dream time, really. Dream big, break through any illusions. Um, come up with new plans and ideas because your intuition is spot on when you've got that card. And then right next to it was the seven of cups or is. This is where you don't know what to do, whether to go pathway, left or right, A or B. This is where you are a bit overwhelmed. And my other pack, she's pointing to Pleiades, pointing to one star. So make lists, focus on one goal and one thing at a time. And work with others. This is where you're planning things with other people um, to create your ships coming home. For some of you, this is where you're waiting for the right time to go on holiday. No such right time. And then you've got the Queen of Pentacles. So you and the King of Pentacles, you've got somebody here who is similar to you. It's like a, a, a divine connection for some of you. These people are grounded, practical, worked really hard and now starting to be resourceful with their money. So, Scorpio, what is happening for you? You have got be in service. Be in service. Um, okay. So, be, oops, I'll do it that way, I think. Be in service, Scorpio. Give back to the world. When we give back in equal proportion to that which we receive, we are able to maintain balance. There are so many people who are in need of your services. Being in service can be as simple as a kind word, opening the door, or joining in a clean-up effort. Look to nature and its ability to support according to what is needed at that time. Your efforts in supporting others around you will help to create the energy needed to support humanity. Okay, Scorpio, and your angel message is... You are a special person. You do make a difference. Okay, Scorpio, remember that. You are a special person. Okay, now we've got um, Pisces. Heighten your vitality. Heighten your vitality, Pisces. I love these. This is Josephine Wall's art and Angela Hartfield's words. Um Tap into the depths of your being and draw on your personal power. If you feel like your energy is low, infuse your mind with the warmth of sunlight and visualize this light bringing new energy into you. You have energetic reserves to draw on. Allow this energy boost to flow through you. Connect with others or do something you love to continue creating the change you need. Spend some time with a friend. Smile, laugh and share human touch. Very, very important, Pisces. Look at that. Okay, Pisces, and your angel message is take time out for yourself. So that goes hand in hand with that too. Take that time out for yourself to revitalize and re-energize yourself. And Cancer, you have got show your support. Show your support. Beautiful. Take time to encourage a colleague or a co-worker, family member or a friend, be a strong shoulder or willing volunteer to run errands. Provide a safe space to another's concerns and feelings to be discussed and be a good listener. Jump in on providing extra time. Sponsor someone else's work. Share in someone's success. The trees provide shelter and support for many different inhabitants. So we are a community. When we support each other, everybody gains. Okay, Cancer. Okay, lovelies, have a wonderful, wonderful April. Blessings to you all. See you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye. Oh, Cancer, sorry. You are a special person and you do make a difference. You've got the same angel message. Okay, see you again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.